the charge accumulated on the capacitor connected in the following circuit is again here it's being uh, here it's uh, not mentioned about time so we are going to take time t equals infinity and therefore at t equal to infinity the capacitance is going to behave as an open circuit so therefore no current is going to flow in this so since no current is going to fl flow in this so if you see uh, 6 and 4 are connected in series and then 1 and 2 are connected in series okay and both are in parallel so if you see the current flowing through R1 and R2 is going to be 10 divided by 3 because 1 plus 2 both are in series so 10 divided by 3 amperes the current through R3 and R4 is going to be equal to 10 divided by 10 because 6 ohm plus 4 ohm is 10 ohm so therefore it is 1 ampere now the potential at A is going to be so if you see this is 10 volts so here it's 0 here it's 10 here it's 10 so potential at A is going to be 10 minus 1 into so this is 1 ohm V no, so IR 10 minus 1 into 10 by 3 which is actually 20 by 3 volts at B it's going to be 10 minus 1 into 6 which is 4 volts so therefore the potential difference across the capacitor is going to be 20 by 3 minus uh, 4 which is 8 by 3 volts so therefore the charge accumulated is going to be Q square uh, charge accumulated charge accumulated is uh, simple uh, uh, C into V so therefore 8 by 3 V and what is the C it's 150 microfarads it's going to be 50 so therefore 50 into 8 is 400 microcoulomb is going to be the answer.